Let's have a look at verbs and the meaning, the definition of different types of verbs that you'll find in Old English, because verbs will take different forms. So there's a definition of a verb in the Cambridge Dictionary. And know that there'll be four main classes of verbs in Old English. Weak verbs. Strong verbs. Pre to write present verbs, and when from now on, when you see the word pre to write, just think past, past tense. Irregular verbs. There's only four words in the irregular verbs category. We'll see that in one of the last videos. All right, well, let's have a look at the different types now. We have the infinitive, which is a basic form of the word given in dictionaries. And uh, the infinitives tend to end in the letters AN. They can also be preceded by this word here, TO. And basically what that means is the meaning is, for instance, the word RUN is the infinitive, or TO RUN is the infinitive. Present tense, which is familiar to all of us, we, we use it every day, we commonly refer to it in daily language, so we understand that means present situations involving facts and reality. Past tense is just as it says in the past. Just note the word pre to write also comes up meaning past tense. The subjunctive has two forms, the present and the past. And this is uh, this type of verb is about expressing a wish, a hope, a fear, a belief, a request, a command, or a hypothesis, but something that's not factual reality. It's not much used in modern language, but it was commonly used in the Old English period. Past subjunctive, again the same sort of thing, but with reference to the past. The imperative, again commonly used today, just means used when giving commands, e.g. run, the imperative, run. Present participle, currently used a lot in, in modern English, and it gives itself away with the ing ending on words. We are waiting. Waiting is in the present participle. Wait is waiting. It's something that we are currently doing. So it's a form used to express ongoing, repeated, or habitual action, such as the statement, we are waiting. Now in Old English, these words are easily found, identified, because they have the ending ende, ende. We also have the past participle. And you often see that it has this yay prefix, yay. And uh, so for this sentence here, we would have, under shield me with minum withar winum, yeselen licum, and unyeselen licum. 